So you're in Calgary and you wanna know which bubble tea shop has the best milk tea? Well, we're about to find out. So today I've taken some of Calgary's most trendy and most well-known bubble tea spots and I am going to do a back-to-back, -back, sip to sip, direct comparison of these bubble tea shops. First we have Per Tea, don't yell at me, Gong Cha, and we got the alley. To keep it consistent, I went with the original milk teas from each place with pearls. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with Per Tea. There's just something really dope about this, this packaging. Like, if y'all can see how dope this packaging is, it is just, it's just nice. It's like, got these little cutouts and it's a matte finish. Really cool. This uh, cat is dope. Also, the inside of this bubble tea shop, super trendy, super nice. If you're looking for a place to meet up with friends and get a nice bubble tea with a cool package, per tea is probably a good choice. So I think you just kind of bring this up here. That's good. Really good tea flavor. The tea really stands out here for those of you that like a stronger tea taste. The texture of the pearls themselves are nice and chewy. And they have a nice tapioca flavor. That's not too sweet. Digging it, quality. Per tea, pretty good. Next we got, don't yell at me, a new spot or newer spot. I've never actually tried this place here before. Don't yell at me, first sips. Immediately, this is a little bit sweeter. The tea doesn't come through as much. The pearls are softer. Pearls are also a lot sweeter. I'm gonna say, you know, I'm not a huge fan of like that more roasted flavor. Yeah, decent, don't yell at me. Doesn't live up to the hype. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, really sweet. Like a caramelly roasted flavor to it. Not my favorite so far. Now we got Gong Cha. This is kind of like my go-to spot, just kind of the most convenient spot. It's also the most affordable spot. So this is kind of like my baseline. How do these guys compare to my usual? We'll have to see. Definitely not as much of a tea flavor as either of these guys. This actually gives me more of a milk vibe. The pearls, good consistency, not too chewy, uh, not too soft, but also lacking in flavor. When you kind of put it up against per tea and don't yell at me, you can really distinguish that. But now I think I'm ready to dig into the alley. The alley had a lot of hype coming into Calgary at the beginning. If you know when it first opened, this place was crazy. Line up down the block. I'd say this place had a really cool vibe to it as well. So, you know, another nice spot to meet somebody in Chinatown, catch up over a boba. But let's go in and try the alley. Hmm. Totally different flavor, very unique. I guess this is um, their number nine milk tea. It's good. Kind of a floral flavor to, to the alley milk tea actually. These pearls are the hardest out of all of these guys here so far. The middle of the pearl is a different consistency than the outer edge, which is not the greatest. But the uniqueness and floral tones are really great. I like it. I know a lot of people have kind of said like, the alley just tastes like milk and it doesn't taste like tea, but I think that it's just a different kind of tea. I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I'm gonna do a back-to-back -back sip of each of these guys just to solidify my choice of who is the number one bubble tea joint in Calgary. I think it's pretty clear for me who the winner of this bubble tea showdown is. And for me, the winner is gonna have to be Per Tea. It just has that perfect level of sweetness, that tea flavor. The flavor in the pearls are so subtle. They're so chewy and just, this is it for me, per tea. 
in second place, I'm gonna have to go with my old faithful here, Gong Cha. Also the great thing about Gong Cha that you can't go wrong with is the price. I think this was like five bucks. Super solid location downtown. It is not the most aesthetic. Actually, it's probably the least aesthetic out of all these places, but you know, if you're gonna pick up a bubble tea and you're gonna walk around downtown, Gong Cha, not a bad choice. Next, I'm gonna have to give it to the alley. Just the uniqueness, the floral undertones, and the tea really made this a worthwhile option for me. Pretty good, probably one of the more expensive options. This small kind of almost seemed like the price of a large. But if you're gonna go meet up with someone, you wanna be hanging out in a trendier space, the alley is not a bad option. Don't yell at me. Interesting name, but ultimately, just not it for me, man. It's a little bit too sweet. The pearl's a little overcooked in my opinion. And if I'm on 17th Ave, I'm gonna just walk a couple blocks and I'm gonna hit up per tea for that good good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you wanna follow us on social media, make sure to check out the description and I'll see you next time. Peace.